In November, Americans sent a really clear message that they wanted change. They want change in the direction of Washington, D.C. And tonight, the president has the opportunity to show that he received that message loud and clear. In fact, he indicated the election was a referendum on his policies. And I'm hoping that the president says he's willing to work constructively with the new Congress in his final two years of being president. Uh, I'm hope he, I hope he shares a focus on smart, bipartisan, common sense, job creation, economic growth policies. I think the number one issue our country faces is jobs. And unfortunately for the past six years, this White House has been more focused on trying to pit one group of Americans against another for temporary political gain. Mr. President, the election is over. You're not up for re-election. Let's find common ground and solve some of our country's problems. And I hope tonight uh, that we hear a story that doesn't repeat history. That instead, the president outlines pro-growth policies, job creation that truly helps individuals. And what I want to make certain that we're focused on is folks in the middle class. Uh, I think Kansans understand that the challenges we face, they're significant. And the consequences of failing to address them have uh, huge consequences, not just upon us, but on our kids and grandkids. Uh, the last thing our economy needs is more of the same failed policies. Uh, we now have a Senate that indicates it's going to work, that bills are going to be debated, amendments are going to be offered, votes are going to be taken. And this gives us the opportunity to deal with those job policies for the middle class. We need to address the issue of higher taxes, too much regulation, irresponsible spending, and when the message is coming from Washington is one of uncertainty, nothing happening, it's no wonder that uh, good things are not happening in, in our country's economy. Opportunities Amer for Americans will come only when Washington, D.C. puts to aside all the partisan bickering and puts policies in place that promotes economic growth rather than gets in the way of a growing economy. Uh, I certainly stand ready to work together with my colleagues here in the United States Senate on both sides of the, of the political aisle to promote realistic ideas that grow the economy, raise middle class incomes, lower health care costs, increase uh, our energy supplies. Uh, we need to balance the budget. We desperately need tax uh, reform so that uh, we can compete in a global economy and create jobs in the United States. And for individuals, it needs to be simpler, more efficient, more fair. Uh, and we've got to strengthen Medicare and Social Security so that it's uh, when you ask that young kid, do you expect to be able to get your Social Security benefits when you retire? The answer needs to be yes. And if we don't make changes today, if we don't make changes soon, the answer will not be yes. So tonight is an opportunity, a State of the Union address is an opportunity like New Year's for a new path toward fiscal responsibility, a growing economy, better jobs for the middle class. And we need to confront these issues in a solid, sound, bipartisan, common sense way. Uh, businesses need to be growing, hiring more people. Employees uh, will have better jobs, more security, better sense that they're able to take care of themselves and their families. And uh, what we all want is for every American, every American to be able to pursue and live what we call the American dream.